Right now, we're going to take a look at a familiar face that's been around for a while, the Chevy Blazer. Our test vehicle is a four-door LT model with two-wheel drive. Of course, Blazers are also available with four-wheel drive and with a choice of two or four doors. No matter which Blazer you choose, there's only one engine available, a 4.3-liter V6 that delivers 190 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque. While the two-door models have a choice of a five-speed manual or a four-speed automatic, the four-door comes only with the automatic. The engine transmission combination performed pretty well for us, providing smooth, quiet power and returning just about 20 miles per gallon in our driving. Complementing the nice behavior of the drivetrain, the overall ride and handling of the Blazer impressed us too. Well-controlled body motions and confident, predictable responses make it quite a nice vehicle to drive under a variety of conditions. We were also impressed with the solid feel of the Blazer's body and chassis on rough roads. We didn't find any rattles or squeaks, even over big bumps or ruts. And talk about value. With lots of luxury-type equipment, our Blazer LT has a base price of $29,270, but discounts on the preferred equipment packaging actually reduce the as-tested price to $28,555. As always with General Motors vehicles, daytime running lights, a very good feature. And these have an auto lamp system that turn on all the regular lights when it gets dark outside. General Motors has obviously put a lot of time and effort into designing the lights for their vehicles. And the Blazer's no exception. The low beams and the high beams were very good on the Blazer. However, the fog lights seemed a bit of an afterthought. Something that I really like about the rear washer system on the Blazer is that this is a wet arm blade type, which means that the nozzle is on the wiper blade itself, so it sprays the fluid just where you need it to clean the glass. A lot of other systems just have a nozzle up here or down at the bottom, and the fluid just kind of dribbles onto the glass and smears it up instead of cleaning it. The Blazer came with this nice tailgate type cargo net. It was good for storing little things in there so they didn't roll around while you were driving. There were also four tie downs in the back of the cargo area for securing larger items if you need to. It's always good to have a cargo cover in the rear area, but what I particularly like about this is the way it moves. It goes across from side to side rather than from the seat back out to the tailgate. And that makes it very easy to use because you don't have that long reach. And it also means you don't have to remove it when you want to pull the seats down. Among the cornucopia of luxury type items on the Blazer are power leather seats, both on the driver and passenger side. And both sides have power lumbar adjustments, which are very nice. And the driver's side has a memory for two people, you and the other driver in your life. I like the overall look and feel inside the Blazer. It's comfortable right away, and it's just a nice place to be. The Blazer came with a computer-controlled climate system. You could set it to auto and the temperature that you like and forget about it. Or, if you wanted to control it manually, it was very easy. You just use the thermostat type setting, the rheostat type fan, which gave you multiple adjustments on the fan, not just those two or three clicks you find on a lot of vehicles. Here they are, folks, some of the best sun visors I've ever found. Nice, big, big extender for the side and a second visor to come down. I wish every manufacturer would take a look at these and build them into their new vehicles. Mike wasn't the only one that loved the visors in here. I liked them so much, I'd like to be able to go down to the Chevy dealership and buy them and put them in every other vehicle I drive. The AM FM CD player had great sound and it's got nice big buttons that make it easy to operate while you're driving. The Blazer had controls for the stereo on the steering wheel. You could choose pre-select programs or you could seek up and down, change the volume or mute it if you had to. It was nice to find the built-in Homelink transmitter here that you can program to open your garage door or turn on your house lights. The center console CD holder held four CDs very nicely. I'd like to have it hold more, and I'm also not too crazy about showing the world I got CDs in the car. I'd like to have a cover on it. I really like this trip computer, and most importantly, it's very easy to operate to switch between the modes for all the different features and calculations it can do. The beverage holders on the Blazer were very nice. They were low, deep, out of the way, and they had a flexible collar around them that kept your drink very secure. We like the nice big outside mirrors, which are heated to give you a better view in inclement weather. And another nice feature is that the outside driver's mirror and the inside rear view mirror automatically darken when headlights hit them at night. 
Considering how compact looking the Blazer is, I was surprised how much room it had inside it, both front and rear. Sometimes we don't find any map lights at all in our vehicles. However, this one has four, two in the front, two in the back. Very nice. There's a lot to like about this Blazer. There's not much in the way of comfort or convenience features that it's lacking. But unlike a lot of vehicles with so many nice touches, this doesn't feel like a bunch of stuff was just crammed into it to inflate the price. That's exactly right, Mike. I thought the whole package was very well integrated, functional, and tasteful. I agree. If you're looking for a luxury SUV, you might not immediately think Chevy, but maybe you should. The Blazer is a good handling, well-equipped, and comfortable SUV that gets good gas mileage and I think a good value for your dollar. Absolutely. Don't overlook this one just because it's been around for a while. It's definitely worth checking out.